Okay, we're back. Now, it occurred to me that I have not memorized portal projectiles, so let's do that real quick. Something we can actually cast soon, probably. Maybe I'll even turn on hexes and get that to like five. Now we'll go into the depths, and probably, probably by the time we're in Zot, we'll be able to cast that. Really handy ability. It's kind of funny to think about the fact that this character has the Necklace of Bloodlust on, and I don't even need to worry about Rand Rage. Cool stuff. Clouds wand. I must have dropped it or something. All oh, right, I dropped it because it can make <clears throat> it can make negative energy. Zen doesn't like that. Trying to make sure that if I do get wrathed, um, it happens when I'm next to a dickable wall. If possible. Is that the robustness, I think? Alright, let's, uh... Let's teleport. Normally I would just blink here, but I don't want to risk blinking into the blinking into that Zot Trap, so instead we do we did that teleport and it worked out quite nicely. Again, that was just because we didn't happen to be next to a diggable wall. Let's see if we can get that robustness. Yes, it is. Well, I'll wear that over Resist Corrosion. We'll just wear our core if we run into something that's doing a lot of acid damage, I suppose. Caustic Shrikes, really, nothing else. Maybe Deep Elf Sorcerers, I suppose, although they should die pretty fast to my bow. All right. Don't need that book. You know, I may try to, um, I may probably, I may do the elf, or excuse me, I may do the caster starts for centaur soon, and I may even play them as casters and not as bow users. That might be kind of fun. We're starting to run out of martial centaurs. I mean, I've still got Still got Gladiator and Fighter, you know, the basic ones, I believe. It's kind of planning for the future. We have, um, actually, let me check my streak real fast. I think I have 16 wins right now. Yeah, 16 consecutive wins. So we're nowhere near the world record yet. I mean, that's the goal, but we're just not quite there yet. Oh, man, let's use Portal Projectile. Nice. Now well, we can turn off scroll of enchant weapon. I suppose I should be swapping to, um... Oh, I've been using Holy Wrath this whole time. Whoops. Well, 
that's my mistake. Let's wait for all that berserk to end. Where velocity. Most of what I'm finding is not on that. We we wear holy only for liches and ancient liches. Ancient champions as well, I suppose, if one of those were to spawn. Were to spawn, rather. Now we use holy. There we go. Seems like a simple thing to remember to swap to the right bow, but I mean, if you take a couple days off from playing, I find it very, very easy to forget the things that your character has available. Hmm. this guy. What is going on with this guy's speed? It's when he like misses I get to gain some some speed on him because he's so slow at the attack but fast when he moves. So it makes it a little bit awkward. I guess I've probably never tried to kite a juggernaut before, unless I was using something like summon butterflies to do it. Blink away from this stuff. And we can just, you know, see they're no longer berserked. Perfect way to handle the situation. When you've got that Trog Wrath and you have the option of resetting the fight. He is very wrathful. I mean, it's because I've... Uh, it's because I'm getting so much experience is why he's burning through this, but, you know, that's a good thing for me. Please blink again. It's still dark red, as you can see, but... Ooh. Confused by Trog. What do I want to do here? Um, I think I want to use Sack of Spires. Twice. Nice. Enchantress is tangled. Remember, she's got D missiles, so. up two sacks, that kind of sucks. Oh, that buckler of reflection she's got is not making me have a good day.
caustic shrink, really? Confused. Okay, it's time to just do this for a minute. That's kind of cool that you can use the You can actually fire from the other side of the sanctuary. That's pretty neat. Yeah, so let's have a little bit of an easier time. I'd rather fight her by herself. I feel a little bad that I wasted so many um, sacks of spiders, but it's not the end of the world. See, the biggest thing about her is the pack. If you can take out her pack of, of spriggans and fight her just by herself like so, a lot better. Oh man, I've got a. I really would like to use melee against her. There we go. Just needed her to be webbed for a little while. Hmm, interesting fairy dragon scales. Certainly not going to use them on this character, but, you know, it is interesting at least. Another, I could see another character using that armor, especially a character that doesn't care about AC so much. is a little bit slow going today. I mean, we're 12 minutes in and we've only done two floors. But we'll get there. I mean, we really can't tab through most of this stuff. It's just a matter of Are we going to meet uniques that cause a problem, and are we going to meet certain monsters that require a little bit of finesse, like, well, like that thing just now, that vampire mage, I had to portal projectile and go in that way. Interesting. Well, if I somehow find five scrolls of enchant armor, I suppose I'll go in that trove. Seems rather unlikely, but possible. Frog is almost done being mad at me. Cool. I do find it cool that I'm faster than these guys, even when they're berserked. I mean, truly, Centaur is easy mode. He's holy versus the lich. He was a rather resistant lich. He got lucky with the RNG. Trog, hey, Trog is mollified. What? There we go. Is this a Gozag altar? Like a really big one.
Yes, it is. Well, this will at least make Zen happy. Although I'm probably maxed out. Maybe we'll find some good things to buy. Doesn't look like it. Hold up. <laughs> Those prices. Yeah, okay. Okay, go, Zag. Nice try. Yeah, nothing really worth it. Till I'm at level 27, I will keep full clearing. Once I hit 27, we'll just dive for the rest of the way. Probably through most of Zot. I mean, once this character hits level 27, it's not really... You know, it's not really necessary. This is cool, we can portal projectile through here. Kill that basically for free. I should put on resist corrosion. I mean, you see how quickly we're rocketing up on the experience scale. We were at zero, 26, level 26 and 0% 0 experience a second ago, and now we're, you know, 22%. Alright, for this dude... I guess I'll just lamp a fire him and try to duke it out. As a centaur, he's much less scary since we can just walk away from him, probably even if he's hasted, or haste as well, you know. This is one of these slightly obnoxious entrances to Zot where you probably want to teleport on the way up. Not that big of a deal though. Quite bad, you see. Um, I don't want to be berserked next to Orb of Fire. I should have feared, probably, but instead we just use Tela. That's fine. Got him. If he got any closer to me, I would have feared. Do you like that we can more or less just tab Orbs of Fire? But that should come as no surprise at all if you've been watching these videos. Checking out my inventory here. Almost level 27. I think we are going to dive, though, since we can more or less expect nothing but more of the same at this point.
Wait, what's going on? Oh, he's there. Oh my gosh, I have very low intelligence. Rather annoying that we haven't found any Sea Invisible yet. I'm gonna put my last point, once I get to 27, I'm gonna put my last point of stats into intelligence since I'm rather low. Let's just clear this floor, I guess. holy since this thing is technically undead. And down he goes. See that we're incredibly close to a downstairs, so we take it. Some very unlucky, unhappy person has died here. Right in Zot. Looks like a troll of Okawaru with what was swiftness but is now sprint. And blink. He can only do, well, he can do 50 damage, but it's not a big deal with our GDR and whatnot. Nice, go straight down here. Okay. Do the usual thing. I will go ahead and vitalize. We want to exclude off the Zot Traps for now. We'll do the usual thing of, well, hold up. Wow, are these really... Hmm. There we go. I wanted to make sure that I could walk around this entire place. So, as soon as I can do five passes without running into a single monster... Then I will go into the, the vault. I'm going to back off because I found a tormentor. Why is this tormentor so fast? That's not good. I'm just gonna walk away from this stuff. Oh, come on. Come on with this. I need to recharge. This is okay. It's best to maintain range on those things if possible. Since of course LCS is a risk, but it's not one if they are too far away to cast it on you. Okay, that's one. Nope. One. Oh. Maybe I should just wait until I get an entire, like, two of them before I start counting. 
What's going on here? Weird. Okay, I'm going to make this a lot easier for me. This seems strange, I'm sure, but... It's because the auto-explorer is being weird about the Zot traps and the exclusions. One. Oh, reset. See how I'm able to fight things like one at a time because of the teleport traps that are inside? This is certainly optimal as long as you're playing in trunk. Three, four, five. All right, we'll go. more or less safe for us to proceed at this point. I mean, we've killed, we've killed so many ancient liches, I can't imagine we're going to run into another one, or very many anyway. And Sanctuary's down to 0%, so... What? Zot Trap. Zot Trap Abysses me, that's cute. Okay. really care about the runes, so. I am just going to see Link out of here. Okay. Hold up. Don't want to go near that saw trap. Finalize. Um, the fights. Well, the fight was not very going very well, and we killed the orb of fire, and it, then we were fine. So, I was going to imprison if it started going any badly, any more badly than it already was. Looks like we're okay though. <laughs> Another Zot trap. You know, that really sucks that you can get multiple effects. I thought it was only one effect. So you're telling me that this could teleport you and then paralyze you? That would be lame. That would be an unbeatable combo. We've blundered into two Zot Traps this game. Just think about that. Think about how bad that could be. That's on Zot 5, too. Let's finalize. Let's, um... I have a ton of haste, so I'm going to use haste, and I'm going to use might as well. goes to jail. Boom. The fight just didn't go well enough. That's fine. We can reset. No problem. And we just tab him to death after vitalizing. But 
That's the third trap I've walked into. Unbelievable. Alright, read teleport. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, that one didn't. That happened rather quickly. Um, teleport again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Grab. Walk away. Teleport works out very well. Let's use fear here, actually. Oh, oh, I messed up. We get the worst possible pan lord, the glaciate pan lord. But, you know, Zen makes that one an easy thing to deal with. Even if I did spend one turn too many next to it. So I made a very, very bad mistake on my orb run, but Zen, Zen just corrects it for me, you know. We'll even go ahead and donate to Zen, since we're low on piety. All that walking around probably stole some. There's a pan lord. Simply put him in jail. Goodbye. And we ascend. Kind of a short video today. Um, certainly is very fast to go through Depths and Zot and Ascend on a, on a Centaur faster than it would normally be. It's a lot of tabbing. And with that, we've got 17 consecutive wins, and that makes me... For the time being, that means that I have the longest active streak other than ZXC's 33 streak. Um, again, for now. I mean, somebody could come up tomorrow and make a bunch of a bunch of wins and and usurp my position there but um yeah like that that worked out quite nicely this whole centaur and berserker thing is certainly making it very straightforward to get these wins in a row as far as what i'm going to do next um i mean you can just look at the list we actually haven't done that many centaurs um We've done some very easy ones like Centaur Berserker, we've done Centaur Hunter, Centaur Arcane Marksman, and Centaur Wanderer, and Centaur Monk, as of today. But we still have a lot of the really easy starts, like Fighter, and Gladiator, and a few other things. So we'll just keep going with that. Maybe we'll do Scald, even though it's sort of a weird start. We'll just see where it takes me. So, until next time, I am signing out.